guess all I can say is, and then it snowed again. I'm taking this particular video clip out my dining room window. That's my chicken coop in the, in the backyard. I don't know exactly how many centimeters we've had. The forecast said we could get 20 to 30. I think it's on the upper end of that. I waded out to my bird feeder a while back, and it was above my knee at the time. Uh, there's still a little bit coming in the air there. I think that's mostly snow that's just blustering around. Uh, I've been looking at the weather radar, and according to the radar, we're we're finished with the snow here. It's still moving northward in the province, but uh, this particular area, I think it's over with. We're due for more wind and uh, cloudy weather for the next day or so, so this dry, white, fluffy stuff will bluster around. I'm out with snowshoes on, attempting to get out to the cabin, which is off through those trees if you see a little bit of brown. There's a better route than that, but I'll show you the snowshoes or not. The snow is so deep and light and fluffy, and I'm not light and fluffy, that I am sinking quite deeply in the, with the uh, snowshoes in the first track anyway, but after I beat a track out there and back, things will be better for my next trip out. That's my bird table at the house that I went out and put some uh, bird seed in earlier this morning. The storm, I guess, is over. I don't know if I said in the earlier clip or not, but this is Sunday, the 30th of December. The old year is ending with a bang here. Anyway, I want to go out and uh, start the fire in the cabin, get it going. I set the kindling up yesterday. And and I'll come back and get some things for my lunch and uh, my book and hopefully spend the afternoon out there. Well, I'm out here with two cameras, trying to keep them in a plastic bag so they won't be destroyed. I've also got my still digital camera with me because I'd like to get a, a still picture of this. Make a nice photograph to have enlarged and put on the wall in the cabin. It was easier coming out here, I think, today than it was with the last storm because the snow has knocked down so many of the smaller bushes and things that I can go right over top of them with my snowshoes on. Anyway, there is the cabin after the snowstorm. Thank you for watching. This is just a look back out the door at my snowshoe trail. How that shows up white on white, but uh, that's after three passes out and back and then back out again. And it's packed down now into a nice trail. Go very well with the with the snowshoes. I have a pair of what they call Yukon snowshoes, um, the uh, modern type, not made out of wood and and got like the older varieties where I had a pair and unfortunately didn't take good care of them. They got rotted. But these I've had for two or three years. They're, I guess the brand name is called Guide and the particular snowshoe is called uh, Yukon. Anyway, works very well. Holds me up. Once I get the snow packed down a bit, that light fluffy stuff it wasn't working too well on. Well, I got the fire going and I plan to spend the afternoon here in the cabin and probably have a late brunch before I leave. I'll probably add another clip to this before I'm finished. Looking back out the window in the door at my hoop house, greenhouse, the last snowstorm, the snow, well I guess the day after the snowstorm, most of it just slid down off the roof. Um, this snowstorm there isn't a great deal on the roof so I'm not too concerned I guess it's and that's quite dry with this wind most of that will probably blow off but it's well banked on the sides if you can see down on the sides there and over on this side here and so far I don't think there's anything that's any any danger of uh, damaging the hoopos me breathing here is steaming up the window and that uh, little shrub right there, if you watched one of my previous videos, that is the hazelnut that I was showing you the catkins on. That's it, full height. I would say tip top of it would be over five feet. <laughs> Two or three feet of snow up there right now at the base of it.
The hiss in the background is the lantern going again, trying to get light enough. It's getting a little shady here in the afternoon to show you my late afternoon lunch cooking. A bagel and a couple of vegetarian uh, sausage patties, the gimme lean vegetarian sausage patties. And when they're done, I have some fresh eggs out of the chicken coop that I'm going to scramble to go along with them. Well, dinner is served. It's starting to get a bit shady outside, even though it's only 20 to 4. But overcast day, still a lot of wind, and the uh, snow is blustering around, but it hasn't snowed in quite a while now. And I have my early dinner here, and then head up to the house, I guess, before it gets much darker. I'm sure the wind will make this clip almost impossible to hear. Just about to go in my house after having spent most of the day out in the cabin. While I was there, I thought the man who plows me out would have come and plowed my driveway, but that hasn't happened. Anyway, if you look back at the house here and the snow drifts that are around everywhere, my lavender bed with all of these markers <laughs> covered with snow but the markers are there to keep the man with the plow out of it <laughs> well thank you very much for watching I'll see if I can get this edited into something short enough to get up on YouTube all right I really am gonna shut this off now <laughs> just one final look back at the house I'm going in and out through my basement door which is just as well that's the door that I usually use there as you can see, there is a mound of snow outside of it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll talk to you later.